To take a photograph of your artwork, you're first going to need one of our digital cameras. You will take this with you over to the art easel where you will place your artwork. Be careful to take your photograph with nice, even edges. You don't want it to be crooked, and you don't want to be looking down or up at it. This will cause the bottom or the top to look much smaller. Then you will eject the memory card from the bottom of the camera, pull it out. This will need to be placed inside of the MacBook computer. Locate the drive on the side and insert the memory card. Next you will see iPhoto will open and you will see your picture upload along with other things that are on the memory card. You will click on your photograph of your artwork to upload it and edit it. Once it is highlighted, you will hit Import Selected. We do not want to delete these at this time, so hit Keep Photos. Now you will need to make sure that your photograph goes in the album with your teacher's things to keep our artwork organized. So you'll hit Add to Album and choose your homeroom teacher's name. Now if you click on your teacher's name on the left side under Albums, you will see your artwork appears. But this photo needs to be edited before uploading it to Artsonia. So along the bottom you will find some, some different buttons. One says Edit with a pencil button. When you click it, you will get a menu on the right side, and we will mainly be using the quick fixes. Rotate, rotate your picture around until it is right side up. Enhance will automatically enhance this. Now sometimes people will like it, but you can undo it from edit undo. Next, you can straighten it if yours is a tiny bit crooked, like the bottom isn't straight. You can use this little guide to straighten up the bottom before we crop it. Cropping just means that we are going to take all the easel out. We just want your artwork online. So start one corner at a time, dragging the corner into your artwork making sure that as much of your artwork is showing but not any of the easel. Once you have made sure all four corners are on the inside, go around and double check. You can then hit Done. Now your artwork has been edited inside of your class folder.